a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Okay, changing the stem titles as well was actually a good idea. I, uh, now it should be changed. And also, thank you for informing me that the the game was muted. I would have uh, say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. committed suicide if I realized that uh, if I realized mid playthrough. Have a drink together, all right? If I realized mid playthrough that the game was muted. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. I'll tell you when we Is get she okay? Up. Sleeping like a well, like a baby. Hmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la chorba de la cool. local recipe. Yeah. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's going to be... Seriously? think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... 
Mia, get down. Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? The worst part about this is that we did not have time to eat our chop at the legume. Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. Nice. Fuck. So in my first playthrough, I did not really have the chance to make like Mitch or Sahmal or anything. So uh, yeah, we might do that in this playthrough. Eliminate targets, secure the rose, my winter, smooth the... Okay. Side C what? Side C what? We are in Valorant. What? All this time I thought it was CSGO, but it's actually Valorant. I really like this game because uh, it's more like a open world kind of because you are open to do all those stuff you can if you explore you are rewarded more than if you don't I mean at the final boss fight I had like 200 bullets on the pistol
I think this game would be pretty annoying to speedrun as well, because we have this really long part that really takes a lot of the game, because you cannot run in this part and it's really slow. At least in this game you can actually keep cut cutscenes, in Resident Evil 7 you can't even skip cutscene, cutscenes. Because the enemies are really, really fast. And, uh, yeah, they are very different from... They are very different from Resident Evil 7. In Resident Evil 7 they are really, really slow, but really, really strong. You need to shoot them a lot. But in this game they are fast and not as strong though. Yeah, I don't know, it's different. The enemies in Castle Dimitrescu are a little different, they are much slower. What did all this? I don't know, I really like this game. I like its graphics, I like everything. But I don't know, in, in the same time I kind of like Resident Evil 7 more. I don't know, I just grew up with that game. Good times, man, good times. And now I play it. Did they just run out of the house? Come on. Friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Help me, it's out there. Hey, are you listening? more Romania this is just a usual day in Romania it always happens Jesus Christ what the hell is wrong with this place huh. Well, Mario, about that I do not have a basement, so I don't have them in the basement, but didn't you, when you are walking to school, didn't you get, just get your hand cut off in half because of one of those guys? Now look at how fast they are, they are much faster than in the other games. And the uh, Resident Evil 4 remake. How the hell are you not dead? Oh yeah. Also something uh, Resident Evil games like to do is make the, the first hell? enemy like this one that you are going to fight. Make him really strong so they scare you and then the other ones are not as strong. Ok, 
Okay, so you saw that one that I just fought? That one, I it was impossible for me to defeat on uh, Village of Shadows difficulty. I don't know if you can hear me because the game is insane. How the hell did you get? Just die. What the heck? Damn. That works. In the counter side, you had a couple last time we met. Yeah. Over. Exactly. This guy is. I. I actually eat this guy for breakfast. Survivors? I've got difficulty. Okay. I tried it. Like yes, no shit shot. How did I not reload it? Okay, this one. This one. Now we run in the south out here. Where is the okay. to a pretty advanced stage I like in back of mode one more Good. that's why they drop a lot more food yeah, also I can do this which is interesting This guy as well. So let's take a quick break. I can craft one of those bullets and more of those. Smooth shooting today, only around the head. Oh my goodness! Move, dude! What the hell is this? Okay. No, I don't even know. I'll jump over that. One end, right? Well, uh, okay. I'm just passing by. Much easier on this difficulty. So much easier. Usually on hardcore, I'm get, I'm given only one one medicine, and here I need to use two. And on hardcore, they deal a lot more damage as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Доки, доки. You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Okay, so this is a good moment to tell you guys to on YouTube to subscribe. Because my subscribe ratio is really, really slow. I really want to start saying this. Not at the start of the video, because you haven't really checked out the content yet. But anyway, I want to start saying this because, yeah, it might help. I don't know. Easy to pick lock. Okay. Yeah, and when that happens, I will uh, start streaming a lot more. So, uh, if you don't want to miss that, then uh, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Okay. I hear another one. One more bullet. Good. I knifed him. They can see us go. doing here stay back please don't hurt us whoa it's okay I'm not gonna hurt you I'm just glad to see normal people at last have you seen any other survivors no they're all in Louise's house and she's not answering and the gate is locked quiet girl he's an outsider Oh. Shit, we're setting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. She looks just like Tanti Marichika, the mean lady. Okay. I uh, would like to know who the hell Tanti Marchika is, but uh, yeah, would uh, it took our time anyway? Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry! Uh, took your damn time. Yeah, here we go. Fuck You're it. welcome. <sighs> He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? Help me. We have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? 
Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father! For God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, and so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Yeah, Mario said uh, that Tanti Marichika is the someone that had a cherry tree and uh, they, uh, uh, how is it called, stole some cherries and ate them. And uh, yeah, you can, I mean, you can see on the screen. Anyway, Luisa, they broke in again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it to this winter, Ernest, Ernest. Ernest took it in number moment. He's still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has mother Miranda abandoned us? Yeah, I mean, you'll probably not understand the joke if you are not Romanian, but anyway. Come on, man. What can I beat? Okay. <clears throat> Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, <laughs> Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid! A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every Sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? <sighs> tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. <laughs> Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... That's it, he, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good idea, come, gather. Great ones, hear our voice, together as one in reverence, we call on thee. Within the endless dark, to, to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. You mean the hag? 
Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> In fact, you literally do not have to shoot. You'll do the same thing anyway. You don't have to waste your bullets. Let him go! Elena? I said no! Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Father. Hey. Hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! <laughs> you couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. I gotta get out of here. Track key. And inside the lockpick. Oh, the screwdriver, same thing. Almost. Okay. Damn, the fire's moving fast. I think it would be pretty fun to speedrun this game. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. <laughs> Where to go, but up. <laughs> Grab on. Hurry. <laughs> Let's move. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> Come on, it'll hold. <coughs> there, that's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? <gasps> Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name. Wait, it's not safe! Uh, 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 stay there! Come on, give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena, don't give up! Reach for me! Why 
is everyone dying on me? This, this is... This is just too much. I just... don't get it. This place has gone mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? Oh, shit! Okay. So this was the Elena house. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I think this game would be pretty annoying to speedrun, but in the same time, I think I would like to speedrun. Yes. Demon. Guess this leads to the castle. Okay, and make them. Okay. So now we are going to enter one of the my favorite parts of this game, the Castle Dintras. Nothing but blood and death. Huh? I don't think it's my only favorite part. I mean, I really like this game. So Castle Dintras, I like. I also like the Beneviento house. It's creepy and interesting. The other two, mm, not as much. Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough, huh? Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda is gonna love you. <laughs> You're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> the man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love entertaining fools. <sighs> Furthermore, I can show you that you entrust the mortal to house. My daughters and I will deliver to you. Get out of the way, Uglyus! I want to see! <laughs> He's awake! Go there, shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yak, yak, as a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! Go find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was welded oh, to Oh, keep glory! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight, 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 hey, fight, don't fight, I get a fight, say in this? Fight, 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 fight. Silence! My decision is final. There will be no Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you have here. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No! <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
right here when you run from them. It's pretty nice. Pretty well made. Very nice. Those freaks have rose. Now we finally can press the lever. I should the crow. I think I take it. No, I don't. Anyway, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. If it's just looking, window shop away. Okay. This is the Duke where... We are going to sell most of the stuff. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Supplies. Yeah, let's buy some ammo. I see. Anything else? And the thing. Okay, this should be fine. Till next we meet. Yes. And now we finally enter Castle Dimitras. Finally. <sighs> Could Rose be here? Must the angels... Oh, yeah. There we go. Looking for Rose? Is the audio out of sync? Wait a second. Yeah, the, the audio is out of sync. <laughs> okay, now it's, it's good. It's fixed. <laughs> My 
mother. I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. Udama! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This first part is weird with uh, Lady Dimitrask sucking my uh, hand. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I don't know. But other than that, I uh, really like the castle. It's nice. Crimson glass, I think I can sell that one. One. Ah, uh, yeah. Something that I really hate about this game is the way you crawl, you go between tight walls. It's pretty fucked. I don't know. I don't like it. It's way better in uh, Resident Evil uh, 7 by Hazard. Hello. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where well, there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dimitrask? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? <laughs> 